It's the iconic picture of the 1976 Soweto uprising, the body of 13-year-old Hector Peterson being carried away by a student. South Africa's vice president laid a wreath at the Hector Peterson Memorial 40 years after the event. In a Soweto stadium, President Jacob Zuma paid tribute to the hundreds who were killed when security forces fired on black students in 1976. 10,000 students had marched to protest against the compulsory use of Afrikaans in black schools. The country is celebrating the heroism of students who stood up to the apartheid state as they fought for their rights and the liberation of their country from racial oppression. Seth Masibuko was a student leader during the uprising. He was jailed for years on Robben Island, where Nelson Mandela was also imprisoned. Not only were students feeling the pain of being taught in Afrikaans, the language of the oppressor, but also the students were feeling the system itself that um, was led by those who were oppressing them. So it was a practical feeling of students exploding. The 1976 protests fueled a struggle that eventually led to the fall of white minority rule. But it took time. It was only in 1994 that blacks were granted the right to vote and that Mandela was elected president. And 40 years after the uprising, black South Africans still endure worse education, housing and unemployment than white citizens.